Hey, I'm Juan from Kennecurves Consulting, and today we're here to help commercial growers all over the world operate as efficiently and successfully as possible. Maximizing yield is the ultimate goal for any cannabis grower, but how do you calculate yield to make sure that your operation is running as efficient as possible? Many growers track yield in grams per watt or grams per light. Grams per light divides the total harvest by the number of lights that you have in a certain room, and grams per watt divides the same total harvest by the total wattage in your room. However, this doesn't give the total picture of what's happening. While these metrics can give a quick snapshot as to what's happening in your room, they don't take into consideration cycle time, light efficiency, canopy coverage, and planting density. We always recommend focusing on grams per meter squared or grams per meter squared per day. These metrics give a more accurate picture of productivity while taking into consideration how much space you're using for growing your plant. To calculate more accurately your yield metrics, you need to start by knowing your canopy area. So how do you do this? First, you multiply the width and length of each one of your tables. Multiply this by the number of tables to get a canopy area of each room. Once you have a, the total harvest in grams or pounds, for example, then you divide this total weight by the number of square meters in each room. What you can do with this number is then divide it by the number of days that it took to complete that cycle. Usually it'll be between 47 to 75 day flowering cycles. If you veg in your room, you should also consider that. So let's say 14 days of veg plus another 65 days of flower, that's the total length for one individual cycle. But remember, yield is not about quantity, but it's also about quality. You should be growing flour that meets the highest quality standards for your consumers or your customers. Making sure that you're testing for potency, terpene profile, smokeability, as well as visual appeal. By combining these metrics for yield as well as quality, you can make sure that you optimize your cultivation system to produce the highest quality product and the highest yield. You can click on the type form below to reach out to us so we can have a conversation on how to make sure that you're meeting your goals.